and welcome to my YouTube channel. Happy New Year! As a welcome into 2021, I've done a fun experiment episode. I thought we'd ease back in nice and gently. So today I'm asking the question, does an ice cube melt faster in fresh water or salt water? This should be easy, right? I mean, we put rock salt on the roads to prevent ice forming in the winter. And putting salt on an ice cube makes it melt really fast. So this should be a no-brainer, right? Well, let's see. For this experiment, you'll need some food colouring, salt, an ice cube tray, some water and two glasses. So to prep for this experiment, I put some food colouring in some water and created some nice purple water and put it in an ice tray and let it freeze overnight. So now I think we're ready. Let's go do an experiment. To start, pour some tap water into two different glasses. Add some salt into one of the glasses and give it a good stir. Place a coloured ice cube in each glass and let's see the magic happen. So which one do you think will melt first? Make a mental note of your answer and we'll check back on it later. Can you notice that in the fresh water on the left, the melted ice cube water is sinking to the bottom of the glass, whereas in the salt water on the right, it's forming a layer that floats on the top of the glass. This is all to do with the density of the fresh water compared to the salt water. So as the ice melts, the water is getting colder and the cold water is more dense than hot water, so it sinks to the bottom of the glass. As the colder water sinks, it displaces the warmer water, causing it to rise. This warmer water then comes into contact with the ice cube and heats it up, speeding up the ice cube's melting rate. This has created a convection current within the glass that helps melt the ice cube. However, salt water is more dense than fresh water because it has salt in it. So the cold water that forms as a result of the ice cube melting is actually less dense than the salt water, so it floats on top and does not sink. So there is no convection current happening in the salt water glass, and therefore the ice cube is surrounded by the cold water, which in turn keeps it colder and reduces its melting rate. As you can see, the ice cube has completely melted in the fresh water, but it hasn't yet fully melted in the salt water. Yay, success! This is why icebergs float on top of salt water and sink in fresh water. And the same with fizzy drinks. The ice cube will cool the diet drink much quicker than it will cool the full fat drink. And this is because a full fat drink is much more dense because it has sugar in it. There we go! Now we know that ice cubes melt quicker in fresh water than they do in salt water. And also, they melt quicker in diet drinks than they do in full fat drinks. Whee! Thank you for listening! I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to learn about other cool physics facts, then please like and subscribe and watch all of my other videos. And if you want to learn about a specific topic, please leave a comment below and I'll try to do a video for you.